Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you that are new here, welcome and let's enjoy some great music together. All right. So what do we have for the Goonies today? Well, we're going to continue with our Countdown 50th Anniversary playlist today. Of course. And this time it's Dan Hartman Mm -hmm. doing a song called Countdown. Go figure. Go figure. And it was only asked for by Once Was Our Strathfield. So, Uh but that's okay because this is, he put down, he put together a a playlist kind of idea for us involving other people on Countdown as well. So An itinerary. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But this is so appreciated because we don't know enough about Countdown to do something like this for ourselves either. Yeah, we and would we, have been fumbling all over the place. So yeah. thank you, Ryan, for putting everything exactly. together. Exactly. And we do have quite a large number of people that are very interested in the Countdown show because it's a big part of their childhoods and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely interested in hearing this and, of course, seeing the countdown uh, situation going on here. Yeah, There's a little intro that I think is the actual intro to countdown. So Yeah, we were asked to play the intro that's in the front of it. It was all put together for us. And this week, that's no problem. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe even next week. It's just special. Or the week after. Depends. It depends. Yes. This is a good time for it, for for sure. Yes. Absolutely. So let's get into it. This is Dan Hartman with Countdown. And of course, the Countdown intro. Thank you. 
This is so interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just like a big compilation of what Countdown looked like between yeah. 74 and 87. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. All the great artists. All wow. the different people. Yeah, exactly. And all the dancing. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure that was an important part for a lot of the people that watched. I'm so. betting. I yes. wonder who's watching this that's, you know, that was in this video. Yeah, I guess we'll find out if any of them were, because they'll let us know. Yeah. But, I mean, this is really fun to watch. Absolutely. And it's groovy. It's I like groovy. it. groovy. What a good song. I mean, that's an <laughs> I like that disco song. It's really... Very groovy. Yeah. When did he put this out? <laughs> we should have looked it up. <laughs> Don't know. Sorry. <laughs> it has that disco feel, though. Like yes, hardcore, it does. So I'm... Looking, I'm thinking late 80, late 70s, early we 80s. We forgot to mention, we do know Dan Hartman. Of course. But we only know him for one song. I Can Dream About You. Yeah, that's the only song that we knew of his. Oh, wait, Always the, loved it. There was one more I think he did later on that I think I had a copy of. Oh, maybe. On 45, aside from that. But I don't know for sure. That's the only one I can think of. Yeah. So that's kind of crazy. Crazy. But let's, let's keep going. And we should. Six o'clock Sundays on ABC. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss it. <laughs> that was so good. I guess that I didn't notice any kind of intro thing. But no, anyways, not really, no. It, I thought, well, I think the. Oh, I know what it is. I think it's, the startup of the thing of the video. Yeah. Is actually kind of the intro thing. Yeah, I don't I know suppose. if they use the same song. It's, it's possible. But I think what it is is just because the whole video is like a compilation of all the different startups, right? Different clips from all the different yeah. years. It went a little long in the Elton John part. Yeah. But that's okay. I remember seeing one of the videos we reacted to and I saw the girls dancing, um, mm -hmm. Live It Up in I Was a Countdown Kid. They were dancing and I knew, recognized them right away. There. The Robert Palmer video. Yeah, because right? she was. Um, 
Live It Up was wearing her little white vest. That oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. We talked about that. <laughs> yes. I wonder how many other people recognize themselves in that video, though. That'll be fun yeah. to hear. Yeah. That'll be fun to see. Yeah. But this was very fun. I was very surprised by how groovy and fun it was, actually. It was. For so, sure. Quite good. Again, I mean, disco y. Of but course, but it had fun, that funky disco thing yeah, going on. It had a fun disco sound. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't you know super spectacular or anything, but it was a. It know, was good. And song. it was fun to see all the artists and the dancers and stuff. Kind of reminds me of that song, Making It. Making It. No? I'm trying to remember. It's on the Meatballs movie. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. A little better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this was pretty good, and I was very happy that we checked it out today. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's all about nostalgia here. Yeah, so, I'm sure it's very nostalgic for a lot of people on our channel. So, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, hey, it looks like it was a great show. Yeah, exactly. For us here, I mean, I've been asked in the comments section, but I figure I'll kind of answer it here, too. Um, we were asked if we had anything akin to that here in Canada or in the States or something like that, mm. shows like that. Well, and the only thing I can think of for here is much music. Yeah, but that's they, how we were introduced to all the new music and some of the old music, too. Yeah, I don't think I saw a show where there. Well, OK, well. Mm, technically, I guess Electric Circus, but that was later oh, on. Yeah, Electric Circus, but it was that was different too. Yeah, that was a nineties. It was thing. more about yeah. dancing. Yeah, Electric Circus. It yeah. was a dance show mostly. Mostly, but they put you know? some top hits on there. Yeah, all dance hits, mind you. Yeah, uh, but nothing with like the live bands and stuff going on, really. Right, not a lot. They bring in one band or, or artist once in a while, and yeah. usually they're lip syncing. You know? Exactly. I can't remember for sure because. I know I used to watch it, but I thought it was just mostly the dancing. And that was really only in the 90s, like uh, in the 80s, uh, in the 70s. I don't remember much at all. No. Uh, but um, then I was, you know, living in New Brunswick and uh, we had Fundy Cable, which is like a small, small time cable. Yes. <laughs> I think the most uh, interesting thing that we watched on that uh, on the stations that were available at the time was maybe um, what they call it. What they call it? Was it Night Rock? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, it was. A, just, <laughs> it was just a little show on cable. Yeah, uh, like on the the on Fundy Cable Access, and it was fun because I got to hear all the great songs in in the seventies. Yeah, and in the early eighties, I got to hear all of that on just coming out of my TV when I was a kid, and then much music came. Yeah, now, actually, before that, I got into uh, well when ASN came in. Uh, I got into the new music, yeah, which was also a, a Moses Zaminer show from Chum, and then Chum decided that this was going so well, and, and then MTV was or MTV was doing so well, yeah, that they decided to make their own Canadian version of MTV, which was much music. And for the Americans, the only people I, the only shows I can think of are MTV and. Maybe American Bandstand. Bandstand was close. You know, American uh, Bandstand is no the only though. one I could think of that was um, anything similar. Yeah. You know, and it wasn't really that similar. No, and with Soul Train. but you know. Oh, and Soul Train, but that was strictly for adults. Mm -hmm. Soul Train. Mm. I don't, you weren't allowed in there, I don't think, if you weren't an adult. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, think you're right. Different. Young adult, mind you, but I mean, I yeah. think uh, Rosie Perez, when she said it was like 19. Yeah. So. And she was just barely old enough, but she could dance like crazy. So yeah. it was good. So what the hell, right? <laughs> but that was, that's the only ones I can think of. We never had anything better than much music, in my opinion, yeah, and when it, it came to that. It was really good for us, though. It was I mean, fantastic. I mean, uh, uh, when when Moses Zaminer created that, he wanted it to be wild. He wanted it to be, have all the fixings, yeah. all the music. And uh, you, you could know. you could go to the Much Music studio and watch bands sometimes too. They had that. Yeah. Um, my daughter went there even before, and they had the whole thing where you know they hold the sign up to tell you when to clap and things like that. I'm sure you guys know about that account though. Yep. <laughs> but I mean, she was a little disappointed with how it went because she didn't realize how 
formulated it is oh yeah when you go there but that's tv i mean uh, it's, yeah. it's always been that way on tv and uh, well it's their way to make sure there's not too much excess noise to edit it properly and yeah. all these different things you know? you know clap clap at this point clap when we tell you to laugh at this point <laughs> exactly murmur at this point <laughs> <You know. laughs> yes don't talk unless you're unless we're on a break <laughs> you know something exactly. like that something to that effect yeah but I mean, and it's understandable. I'm again. I'm sure you guys account that did countdown were fully aware of what TV was going yeah. on. So, but this was very fun to check out, and I'm sure you guys must have really enjoyed the nostalgia of it as well. So I'm very absolutely. glad we did it. Yeah, absolutely. This it, it was fun. And yes. again, I want to know who those people are dancing. Exactly. So thank you for watching this one with us and thank you for the request. It was most definitely appreciated. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. You'll find the link in the description of all our videos. You'll also find our blocked videos over there for free. If you want to come and check those out, you're more than welcome to do that. 50 yeah <laughs> and if you pay the three dollars you get access to our albums documentaries and little concerts over there it's a lot of fun yeah <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies share with your family and friends click the notification bell if you don't want to miss a video and don't forget to enjoy yourself later later <laughs>